Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be checking out a patch by Howard Scar. It's got a super intriguing move in it. So it's got this arpeggiation. Here's the patch. Just think about how would you make this arpeggiation? So that's the arpeggiation. And if you're like me, you would say, oh, I'd modulate the tuning or something along those lines, something with, to do with pitch. And that is not what's being done, which is why this patch uh, sort of interested me so much. No, what this guy has done is he's done something really clever. First, an oscillator one, it's in spectro blend mode. So this is the fundamental and this is a harmonic. And as we scroll along the waves, we see they increase and so this makes it seem like as the waves progress, they change frequency. Because, you know, this would be like, this would, to us, it would just be like a fundamental. This would be like a fundamental and a harmonic. So as you move along, this gives the illusion that we're changing pitch when in reality we're picking different waves, so to speak. And what you see here, it looks like it's message. And technically, this is a kind of message but it's a multi-stage envelope generator. If you've used FM8, the, it's very similar, or Citrus or Harmer also have very similar envelope structures. So here we have basically, uh, or you can look at this as the performer tab, massive a little bit, where we are moving along at a rate and this is generating different levels. And these different levels are picking, as we see here, the different waves. Because if we look at tuning, Nothing is modulating tuning. Tuning has been left alone. Instead, we are modulating the wave. And so that's what, that's how we did it. That's how it works. So what I thought was, let's make something similar to this. And there's all sorts of interesting applications as far as uh, multi-stage envelope generators go with creating bass sounds that modulate over time. And you can do things to offset values and that can also be really cool. So let's go to an init. And we start off with our beautiful saw wave. We're going to go to oscillator one. We're going to change it to spectro blend. And we're going to begin to select frequencies. And we're just going to move along here. And this way, when we scroll through, we'll get a different, different sounds. So we're just going to pick a few. Maybe you, I'm going to go with a bit of a sparse thing, similar to what we just had. I'm going to add three in every now and then, though, you know, be a little exciting. Bring in some over here, yeah, why not? Over here. And that, the solar patch probably was a little more deliberate in the waves they picked. But here we have, we've selected it, and if we scroll through right now while playing a note, that's our wave. That's what we have to work with. Let's uh, really quick dress it up a bit. So I'm gonna add a distortion, and I'm just gonna bring the input up a bit. I'm going to bring the attack up some on this envelope, which controls the volume of this channel. We see envelope one set for all of them. Something like that, that's fine. And let's go ahead and put a reverb on it. La 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 la, add some space. I'm going to leave mine in poly. I didn't check the other one if it was in poly or if it was monophonic. I believe it was probably, I don't know, actually. It might have been poly. And for some reason, it, it struck me as a, a monophonic patch, but I didn't check. So let's go ahead and now let's go in, set up our secret move, because it's going to look like our, our pitch is changing when in reality it isn't. So in order to zoom in and out of this here, we're going to go, this is just a mouthful to say. So uh, I, we could call it the message. It looks like the word message. I'm going to click on the ruler and drag up. If you use like Ableton or something, this would be a very familiar way of zooming. And let's go ahead and first off, if I move this one point, it moves all the points after it. That's because of this setting right here. I'm not sure what the button's called. We'll call it the mover button because it moves all the points. We want the button that makes it so that it moves in between the two points. We'll call it the fixed button or whatever. So here, it's these two stay fixed as we move the middle point. There is an important, uh, there's one in here that is not like the others. It's more important. This is gray guy. This gray point has a triangle over it. 
This acts as the sustain. So loops and things stop when they hit this point. If I play a note, and we have to hook this up, by the way, to see it do anything. So let's go ahead and set up the wave to be controlled by our multi-stage envelope generator number one. And you see it begins to do stuff. So as I play a note, hold it, it stops. It stops right there. So we don't want that. Uh, we want it to do things. So we're going to be clever with this. Now, in the other one, it, it was done in seconds. I'm going to leave it in quarters and, instru and instead draw out four levels in four quarters. So I'm going to take this down. That'll be our first level. So we'll start at the first wave. We'll pick some random wave way the heck up here. Oh, and I'm holding Alt to put down new points. Alt click, and then you let go of Alt and just click drag. We'll select one right here, what the hey. And our last one will be right here. Just sort of randomly picking things. And I'm going to get rid of this last point. I'm going to drag this down to here. So this effectively is where our loop's going to stop. We still need to set up a loop though. So I'm going to right click on our first point and make this the loop start. And we see a loop has been created. Now, if I play this, the speed, let's check out the speed. That's a pretty all right speed. We could speed it up a bit if we want by changing the loop. So if we make the loop faster, it goes faster, slower, slower. So if you want to change up your speed, you can do that. Now, let's go ahead and let the message pick our waves for us, right? That's what we want. So we'll, we'll move this around. Let's change it up and get different versions. I, I really like that one. So let's go ahead. Let's run with that one. I'm going to drive this a bit harder. On this first one, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this away. And I believe it was Alt. Yeah, Alt will wipe the slate for you. I think it'd be cool to just have these higher tones. As soon as you put things next to each other, it can get interesting. So just be sparse if you want a similar flavor of what you've heard earlier. That's kind of cool, but let's, uh, let's add a lower tone. Uh, I really care about this first one. All the others are fine. I just want to pick something different. And let's get rid of that one and that one, which I'm holding on all quick drag. And this is pretty cool. Now let's try, I think it'd be kind of nice to hold this a little longer. So I'm going to bring the speed down to say around 0.5. You know, you can do stuff. If you want to play melodically, uh, this particular instance allows us to do so. But that is the essence, that's the idea. And then we can come in here, add a couple of things. You saw some additional bells and whistles going on, but this is the core idea and something that can get you started with uh, a feature like this. And this is incredibly useful and powerful for generating any sort of organic behavior. Here we're using it to drive the wave selection, but we could of course set this up to control any number of other things. I thought just the combo of the multi-stage envelope generator with the spectral blend wave selection I just thought that was really great. Uh, let's go ahead, let's uh, pick some different wave combinations and hear what, we, what else we get. Maybe let's bring the attack up some. If we go down negative, we're, we're not gonna, we're gonna continually select the first the first wave. So that's why that happened. Let's bring it up way up. And there you go. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe, hit that bell icon for future videos and have 
a blessed day. Yeah.